Hey guys, I'm Serena, this is Giovanna. She is 15 months old. She was born about two months early, so we tend to do the boxes a little bit late. She's opening the Babbler box for 13, 14, and 15 month old babies from Love Every. Um, we've gotten all of the boxes. She has them scattered throughout the house and that's kind of the majority of her toys. Um, and, and there's a bunny! And she's opening the box for the first time. And it's been a while since she's gotten any new toys, so I think she's pretty excited. So Giovanna is leading this exploration of the box. She's taken out this puzzle with different colors and different sizes with baby faces underneath. She has not really figured out any of the puzzles, um, putting the pieces back in any of her previous toys, so I don't expect that she puts them back here just yet. Although, she's not doing a bad job. She has also taken out these shake balls. She has one from a previous box, which she loves. And so those seem to be her favorite so far. And then she's taken out this little felt container that has three tiny bunnies in it, which was pretty exciting when she first discovered them. She loves books, so of course she's now looking at the manual for her parents, although we usually take these away from her. And now she's taking out the biggest toy in the box, which is called the Slide and Seek Ball Run. It has a little door at the bottom so that you can take balls out of, and I'm pretty sure that these balls are supposed to go in the top, which actually she may be pretty excited about. This is really similar to some of the more brightly colored, noisier toys that she used in physical therapy. Um, and so it's kind of a more Montessori appearing design, but similar to things that were eye-catching and helpful for her investigating fine motor skills. And so hopefully she'll like this because it's a little bit more exciting than a lot of the Montessori toys. And so hopefully she'll actually kind of get like the point of the tool, like you put them in, they'll drop through and she'll be able to predict where they'll come out and kind of the mechanics of how the toy works. Versus most of the other ones, if they require some sort of insight, she doesn't necessarily really stay interested long enough to figure it out. Okay, we're on to the next one. This is called a wooden coined bank and coins and it has different tops. So it's a coin sorter and carrot Holder. Giovanna, you can put the carrots in. Oh, and these are perfectly shaped for baby mouths. I'm pretty sure she's gonna spread these across the house and put them in her mouth. And there's a so there's a carrot top, and then there's also a coin slot top to practice fine motor skills. What do you think about using your fine motor skills? Do you want to try? I would assume that the carrot top is a little simpler because you don't have to have directionality versus these are a lot more um, specific grasp and then of course you need to have the correct direction. Here, you want to put one in? You put it in the top like this. Pretty close, pretty close. Here it goes in. Beautiful. What's this? Huh? Where do these go? Do they go on here? Yeah, thank you. Do we put them in here? Do we put them on here? And then a new book. Joanna loves books. Um, she's not super interested in listening to the stories unless it's my dad telling the story, but she does like flipping the pages, likes pointing at the pictures, and um, likes deciding which one she's gonna read, so. What do you think about this one? Now it's time for Mama to wash Zoe's hair. Oh my goodness, she's got water in her eyes just like you. Oops. Zoe gets some soap and water in her eyes. It's a baby. She 
she doesn't like that feeling. That reminds me of you in the shower. Mama wipes Zoe's face with a washcloth and reminds her to look up. That's better. So total, we have a book, the slide and seek ball run, bunnies in a burrow, circle, a friend's puzzle, flexible wooden stacker, posting lid, carrot lid, with the coin bank with the wooden coins. So this is kind of like all pretty similar, but I guess you could count them as three. Probably I'll count them as one. Two, three, four, five, six. Six, or if you want to count these as separate, eight. I really am happy that there's a lot of kind of fine motor and, you know, figuring out cause and effect, um, like with this ball drop. And so I'm hoping that she will engage with these because I feel like that's something that her current toys have been lacking, um, kind of like requiring her to investigate and figure out like where hidden things are, how to open things. Um, and a lot of these have that component. So we'll probably do an update later, but yeah, I like them so far. And she loves carrying big, heavy toys around and she loves dropping them and manhandling them and they all look pretty sturdy. Say bye. Ah. Bye. Goodbye, Goodbye. You like it? You approve it? <laughs>